My name is Simon Kyle. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Clinical Neurosciences and I have an interest in sleep research, uh, in particular um, the causes of sleep disruption and um, in the development of treatments to uh, improve sleep in those with chronic sleep problems. Sleep is nature's soft nurse. Um, it supports memory consolidation and learning. It enables us um, to reset each day such that we're able to adapt and respond to stressors in our lives. Um, it's responsible for emotional uh, homeostasis. Um, the, you know, it's, it's quite clear that, that sleeping on a problem often leads to, to greater insight the next day. Um, but also it helps us manage daily stressors. Um, and regulate our emotions. Burton recognised that the relationship between sleep and mood was quite nuanced, so he recognised that both um, disruption of nighttime sleep uh, could be a cause of melancholy, but he also recognised, uh, on the other hand, that sleeping too much could be um, a risk for you know, poor mental health. And our research group and others have develop sleep treatments, um, consistent with some of his recommendations, I have to say, that we now know uh, can improve both sleep and mental health in those who experience mental health problems. I have to say he also recommended some, some you know, rather odd uh, sleep hygiene recommendations. So for example, he suggested that, that rubbing um, the earwax of a dog on, on one's you know, teeth may be soporific. Uh, he also um, recommended um, applying the, the fat of a, of a dormouse to the soles of the feet. Um, as far as we're aware, we don't think that's evidence-based, um, but many of his, of his ideas were, I think, very sensible. Keeping a regular sleep-wake pattern, um, receiving uh, appropriate exposure to, to natural light, um, avoiding napping during the day, um, not going to bed on a full stomach, um, and have a qu having a quiet environment. All of these are very sensible. It's been wonderf wonderful to work with uh, historians, with experts in, in English literature, uh, with, with the team of psychiatrists, to think about mental health and to think about sleep in a different way. Um, and I have to say that um, it's also made me appreciate, you know, the history of sleep and, and what, what the sleeping environment was actually like in the 17th century. And um, I probably what's most surprised me is that much of what we think is novel and, and brand new, <laughs> um, in fact, was recognised by, by thinkers centuries ago. Um, and I think we should probably acknowledge that more than we, we, we do at the moment.